self-care is just as important to your weight loss journey as diet and exercise. Most of us are juggling way too much and often our to-do lists are incredibly demanding, but pushing yourself for weeks or months on end without taking a break can lead to burnout among other things. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Katherine. I'm so glad that you joined me today. And I just want to say a special thank you to my subscriber community for being here today. And if you're not part of my subscriber community yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and the little notification bell right next to it so that you'll be notified every time I upload new content. And if you are new to my subscriber community, just go ahead and let me know that in the comment section below. Just say hi, put a little wave emoji or something down there, just letting me know that you're new here. So with that, let's go ahead and get started in today's video talking about why self-care is so important to our overall health. foremost, it's important for us to take care of ourselves before we can truly take care of other people. So caring for yourself actually helps us to show up and be our best at whatever it is we're supposed to be doing. So what I mean by that is if you're a doctor or a nurse or even a mother like me, you have to care for people pretty much full on all the time. And if you're not cared for properly, you may not be performing at your best. Taking time to take care of yourself is really hard for us caregivers because we feel like we have to take care of everybody's needs first and ours tend to get shoved to the back burner and we're not really that important to ourselves for some reason. Anytime that I feel like I need to take what I call a mommy time out and go take a break in the other room or with a bath or just go for a walk by myself, I tend to talk myself out of doing those things because I feel the need to make sure everybody else is taken care of first. After I've done that for so long, I find myself struggling in a lot of areas, physically and mentally, and I really don't feel like I'm actually performing at my best in order to take care of the people that God has entrusted me with. If you're on a plane, the flight attendants are gonna tell you a whole myriad of things to do if there's an emergency in the airplane. And one of the things that they'll always tell you on every flight is that if there's an emergency, there's going to be little face masks that are gonna fall down in front of you. They always tell you, no matter what, to put yours on first before trying to help the person next to you or your children or whoever it is, because if you can't breathe, they can't breathe. And I always think about that when I feel like I'm not breathing like in life, like I'm doing too much. I'm not taking time for me. I'm full pedal to the metal. I haven't taken time to just breathe, you know, to just sit and enjoy a cup of coffee by myself or take a walk or whatever it is that I want to do. I can feel me losing my breath. I need to be able to breathe in order to help those around me breathe so that I'm not grumpy or short with my kids and so that my, my creative capabilities are able to flow and I can take care of those people who are relying on me for information. So taking time for me to put on the mask first, so to speak, and breathe is very vital to me being able to help my children or to help those people who are counting on me for my creative capabilities abilities because when I'm not taking care of myself, all that stuff tends to be blocked. And again, I'm not performing at my best. So that's definitely number one reason why taking care of yourself is important. And a good reminder for somebody out there today watching this video to put your mask on first. And number two, taking care of yourself can actually help you feel energized and well rested. Self care can help you reduce your stress, increases your energy, increases clarity. Self care can help you have a better sense of purpose. It can increase your communication skills. It can actually help you sleep better and who does not need to have better sleep come on I need better sleep sometimes sometimes I go to sleep at night and I am just exhausted from the day because I have not taken care of myself I've not intentionally given myself time to either de-stress with a good book at night or taking a bath and I go to sleep and my thoughts are just overwhelming they are continuously going maybe I've worked from sun up to sundown either doing stuff for my business taking care of my children creating videos for you guys to watch right now. Writing, whatever that is, I've poured a lot of myself into it and I have not taken time to refill what I've poured out. And so by the end of the day, I'm laying in my bed and I cannot shut off the to-do list. Like I said at the beginning of the video, that ongoing to-do list that's like, I got this to do, I still have this to do, I didn't finish this today. Okay, maybe I can do that tomorrow. I have to shut down those thoughts and start thinking the prayer from Psalm 23 in order to get me to sleep at night when I've not taken care of myself during the day because I can't rest until I've given myself time to saw like at the end of the day and if I if I don't do that before bed or if I'm on my phone taking time to answer maybe you guys' comments or get on my Instagram and answer uh, DM 
messages on there or get on Facebook. There's an amazing group that I'm part of there that is um, YouTube moms that we just collaborate and do things together and we encourage each other and lift each other up and I'm on there sometimes. If I get on there and I'm focused on all those things before I go to sleep and I've not actually taken time for me because that's still giving myself away doing those things, I'm not sleeping well. And when you're well rested, you're energized and you tend to be a whole lot less stressed out. Today I'm just giving you three reasons but there are so many more reasons beyond what I'm giving you today to take care of yourself, like without the guilt attached, right? Number three is really important. Self-care can actually help you maintain or build your self-confidence because when we are taking care of ourselves, we're doing something good for us. Self-care encompasses the way that we see ourselves. It also encompasses our beliefs about what we're capable of and our ideas about our worth. When we aren't taking care of ourselves, we're compromising our mental wellness and our ability to be able to cope with the hard things that get thrown at us in life. Because taking care of yourself is so valuable to helping you maintain or build your self-confidence if you don't feel like you have a high self-confidence level. Doing things like listening to empowering podcasts, you know, just putting some um, positive quotes around your house, on your mirror, in your bedroom, wherever you'll see them. So you guys can probably see back there in the background, I have a scripture picture and that helps me to remember who I am and my worth and my beliefs about what I'm capable of because the Bible tells me that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So when I feel like I'm just failing, I'm gonna bomb this, there's no way I can possibly make this work, I remember that scripture. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Or I have my journals. My journals have um, powerful things written on the front of them. And Jeremiah 29 11 tells us, God says, I know the plans I have for you, plans for good and not for evil, plans to give you hope in a future, not to harm you. Those are things that I have to remind myself of and take care of my mind by repeating the things I know to be true. And by focusing on the things that I know are helpful for my mental health. And grab a good book that's gonna be an encouraging an empowering book for you. I love to read Joyce Meyer books, Lisa Turkhurst, Christine Kane. I feel like um, surrounding myself with powerful women who are not perfect, who have struggled, who have a story, who have a past, who have real life experience and them encouraging me. I did it and you can do it too. It builds my self-confidence and, and drowns out all the noise and the chatter and the negativity. I've had to take time for me and get some things right in my own mind and get healed from some things and who I was and my worth and my ability. I'm gonna link a video for you. It's gonna pop up right here and then I'm also gonna put it in the description below so you can click on it right now or you can go to the description below and click on it after you're done watching this video. But it's about how to de-stress and lose weight. Keeping an immense amount of stress on us or staying stressed out all the time is not really taking good care of ourselves. So I did an entire video talking about why. I'm not gonna go into it all right here. Go in and watch Watch that video after you're done with this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about some ways that you can take care of yourself. What is self-care? Not hygiene. Ask my 17 year old son this question. What do you like to do to take care of yourself? He said, brush my teeth, put on deodorant, take a shower. I was like, not what I was talking about. <laughs> said, what do you mean? I said, mentally, what do you do to take care of yourself? He's like, oh, oh yeah, that's totally different. And then he went into what he does. And I thought some of his answers were really neat for a 17 year old boy. Um, his answers were really cool. They, they're different than mine though. You know, really, I think only one of his answers were similar to things that I do to take care of myself. So case in point, self-care can look so different for everybody because it's individual. What do you like to do? What brings you joy? If you hate reading, reading a book is not good self-care. He loves to play video games and he likes to do that. That's his self-care. It's his time out from the world, right? So he takes a little bit of time to do that a few times a week. Please leave in the comment section below your favorite way to take care of yourself. I'd love to hear those. So taking care of yourself does not have to take a lot of time. For people like me who are always on the go and have these immense to-do lists, thinking about one more thing to do, like taking care of yourself, should not be something that you feel like you have to put on a to-do list. You really need to make it a priority in your life to take care of yourself first because let's go back to the reason number one. If you're not taking care of yourself, you can't take care of others around you. One of my favorite things to do is call one of my best girlfriends and just have a great conversation with her. Ask her how her kids are doing, hear about their life, laugh. Oh my goodness, I keep people around me that make me laugh because I love to laugh and I like to be so immature, you guys. I'm almost 40 but I'm really not like a 40 year old sometimes I'm like, how am I this age? I'm, I'm, you know, 
I'm not I'm not sure how I got here. No, I just like to have fun. So laughter is a really great way for me to take care of myself. And I love to call and talk to a friend and just taking time to do that is so important and way better than texting or social media messages or creeping on their Facebooks to find out how their life is going. Just call and ask them, how's it going? And tell them something funny or stupid that happened to you this week or some of your struggles so that you can kind of have like a little mini therapy session right there with them and get some encouragement from a friend. Then another really good way for me to de-stress is listening to music. And I'm laughing at myself because you guys do not hear the amount of tripping over my words that I'm doing right now. I'm not sure why, I'm probably just thirsty. All right, yes, it's much better. Okay, so I like to listen to music. Listening to music is a really huge way for me to chill and just you know be calm. Sometimes I listen to worship music. I might listen to piano music. Put some links in the description below for some channels that I go on YouTube sometimes and just play. I love to listen to the Abide uh, channel. Some peaceful music, like a meditative music in the background. Really great way to relax right before bed. And when I do that, I'm calm and can sleep. Another great way to take care of myself and if you're looking to lose weight and stay healthy and get fit is exercise. Exercise is such a great stress reliever for me. I feel like I can open the floodgates of creativity when I exercise. I feel like I've done something good for myself. I'm releasing the toxins and all the junk out of my body. And exercise does not have to be mundane. You do not have to go to the gym and watch everybody else work out while you stand on a treadmill. Like just take your butt outside and go for a walk. Go outside and enjoy the weather. Go kick a soccer ball around with your kids. It doesn't have to be boring. It doesn't have to be routine. It can be different and fun. You guys go ride a bike whatever. So what's your favorite way to exercise? Put that in the comment section below. I'd love to hear that. Another way for me to de-stress is just take a break. I need to take a break from my phone, my computer. I need to take a break from my kids. I need to take a break, but I call a mommy timeout. If you're a mom, if you're not a mom, just take a timeout, whatever, a personal timeout and go read a book, take a bubble bath, um, go for a swing in a hammock, go to a park and sit and feed the ducks. Definitely self-care is writing. I need to be able to write and express myself. So I like to blog, I like to journal, and I like to write. I'm writing a book. Um, I'm working on that and it's, who knows how long it's gonna take me to finish it because I got a big to-do list, so who knows. But I am working on it and that to me is self-care because it's doing the things that I know that I wanna do and working towards achieving certain goals, plus also journaling just to journal helps me kind of process and work out my thoughts and what it is that I'm dealing with or battling or my prayer to God. Sometimes I just write uh, to God like letters to him in my journal uh, and that helps me. And then also just keeping a running list of things that I'm grateful for. Take time to make a gratitude journal. If you've not done that, that's really a really great practice to be in to help you take care of yourself. When you're focused on the positive and the things that you're grateful for, it just kind of helps you put things in perspective and it's good for our mental health. Thank you so much for watching and again if you haven't subscribed to my channel I just encourage you to go ahead and do that right now and be part of my subscriber community make sure that you're taking time to take care of you so you guys have a fabulous week bye